Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, thesprintbook.com. This is Sprint. Uh, it is, uh, first of all, we should mention that uh, your partner, Google Ventures. Is that right, Jake? Yeah, that's yeah. right. And uh, although uh, you may you may know, <laughs> you may remember him from such things as Google Hangouts and uh, the Priority Inbox and things like that. You've worked at Google for 10 years, right? Um, gosh, close. That's I never thought of it that way. Yikes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, very close. I kind of think of uh, Google Ventures as a, a separate time, but right. yeah, if you lump it all together, it's like nine, I think it's nine years. It's all alphabet, baby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, this is a technology or a, a, a technique that you and your co-authors, and I should give John Zaratsky and Braden uh, Coetz credit as well, uh, developed at Google, uh, particularly to work with the startups that you work with at uh, Google Ventures for getting uh, from idea to a first product in five days. Yeah, well, for getting to a test anyway, to test a prototype. So it's a process that I first started uh, at Google and and used on what was a very early version of Hangouts and very early versions of Priority Inbox uh, when working on Gmail. And, and then we refined it at Google Ventures while working with startups. So the idea is that you can move from some big question or big idea or, or big challenge at the beginning of the week clear your schedule and go through the steps. By the end of the week, you'll have a realistic prototype and you'll test it with five customers. I'm going to be uh, honest uh, with you, uh, Jake. This is, <laughs> I feel exhausted just thinking I, about you know, it. <laughs> I know, I know, I know how it sounds. I know how it sounds. I'm so it's tired tough. already. <laughs> <laughs> it is a, you know, I won't, I won't lie to you. It's a full week, yeah, but yeah. it's not, it's not a crazy week. Well, wait a minute. Now, before you say that, I should point out that three days of those five, you have no access to either your phone or your computer. That's right. Which is, which is like a spa. I mean, oh that yeah. You call it a spa. I call it withdrawal. <laughs> I call it DTs, baby. <laughs> it must have it must have been There's, hard to get to get some of the people you work with to do that. Yeah, well the thing the thing that we do in the sprint is, you know, you you're not you're not meant to use your phone or your laptop while you're in the room. For, and this is true for the first three days, but you can you can leave the room at any time. So if you want to check something? Oh, there's you get no to pee. That's good. If you're right, you know whatever you're doing, that's up to you. But we uh, but what I what we found is that usually people like at first it's good they like to know that, but people actually rarely end up doing that. Yeah, uh, they yeah. really step out of the room. Part of the reason is we don't work long hours in the sprint. We know that you're going to tire out right. if you. Right. Spent, you know, burning the midnight oil every day. Right. So it's like a, you know, we, we start at 10, we end at 5, we take an hour for lunch, and we're very focused during that time. But the the point is not to burn people out, not to run crazy. It's just to um, to make good use of our time. Um, actually, and I'm being, of course, I'm being silly because I, <laughs> I read this and I found it very fascinating. I have done Agile. This is not the sprint that you it's might not, know from Agile. Right. It's it's definitely works with Agile. It seems similar in some ways. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a week, you know, and that's yeah. and that's something that people who are familiar with Agile will be very comfortable with the idea of, of you know, blocking things off into weeks or, or longer chunks. And so this is a this is something that can work with Agile. You might start with one of our sprints if you're if you're doing a longer project, you might switch back into regular agile mode, but it's it's not the exact same thing by any means. So just to, uh, and I've kind of leapt into the middle of this, and we're going to step back and start at the beginning. Yeah. But uh, uh, just to give you some idea of uh, the the provenance uh, of this, uh, Jake, of course, has done uh, these sprints. We mentioned uh, Gmail and we mentioned uh, Hangouts, but. He, he's used this process with 23andMe, Susan Wojcicki. He's used it with Slack, with Nest, uh, with Foundation Medicine. John Zaratsky, his uh, co-author, was a design lead at YouTube, an early employee at FeedBurner. Uh, and Braden, Co Braden Kowitz uh, has worked with many Google products, including Gmail apps, Google Spreadsheets, and Google Trends. So this is not some, you know, laboratory uh, idea. This is not some test tube idea. This is... Uh, tested in the in the furnace of the real world and has been for years so uh, it's an inter it's a really interesting methodology and we're going to get to it I, I want to start though a little bit with Google 
Because one of the things that uh, it always impresses me with Google, and I think it goes right back to Larry and Sergey in the very earliest days, and I remember having lunch with them in, you know, like the first year and being so impressed with them is that from day one, I think they didn't want to make it a traditional company and, and realize that one of the real challenges uh, as you grow a company into from a little lean startup, a uh, little graduate student project into a big company is keeping innovation and, uh, and movement forward, not getting bogged down in the syrup of bureaucracy. And they seem to have done a good job of that. What is, what is, what do you think the key DNA is there? Well, when I came to Google, I had been interested for a number of years in personal productivity. I had been working at Microsoft and I had been trying to optimize my own time as much as possible ever since my, my oldest son was born. And I kind of realized that, you know, if I was at work, I was missing time with him and I wanted to make the days count. And uh, when I came to Google, what was really remarkable to me was the way that people embraced experimentation. And so the ideas that I had about personal productivity, I realized could be applied to maybe the way teams worked, that I could experiment with my team and even with, you know, getting other teams to try new things. And people were open to it. That's you know, one they, of the things that's great about Google is they really, uh, they seem to give you a lot of autonomy, but also kind of an openness to new ways of doing things, right? Yeah. And there's definitely a feeling that, you know, if, if you can, you know, if you can prove it to us, if yeah. you... We'll give you a shot to try it. And that's, I mean, this this process, this book wouldn't exist if that attitude hadn't just been so pervasive at the company.